Hey, y'all, how's it going? I'm Wiley. We're working with Wiley. Yesterday, I forgot to hit the record button for an intro on a video that y'all's fixing to watch. We went to my cousin's place and uh, tore apart a 05 Chevrolet school bus pulling the 60 motor 4L60 transmission all out to uh, get, get it ready to install in a 1976 crew cab Chevrolet pickup. So, here we go. Check this out. This is the way do we do things around here. So guys, we got a 05 Chevy 3500 school bus. It's got the 6.0 liter gasoline engine in it. Um, 4L60E transmission. And me and Jen are about to cut the front end off this bus, pull that motor and transmission out, and you'll see it on a future shot. We are putting all this into a 76 crew cab Chevrolet pickup. Uh, rear end, motor transmission, everything is going into this 76. So, watch us do our thing. So guys, in case you've never tried to start a school bus before, this is the lock for the back door. And it will not let you start the school bus with that locked. You have to have it unlocked. Of course, now we got to wait on the battery to charge up so we can start it. But if you ever get in one, and it, the, the starter will not engage. That's what you gotta do. There's the boss trying to figure out how to start it. Till I saw that sign. <laughs> Tenth time is the charm. kids from the 1920s. Today we're out at my cousin's scrapyard. Uh, he crushes vehicles and uh, just going to give you a quick tour of some of the stuff he's got. Uh, old Packard he's come across. Actually a pretty slick old car. Last time it was tagged, it looks like it was 1966. It's all here. Not in the best shape, but it's all here. I don't know that I've ever opened hood on this one. I don't know if I can see it. <laughs> 
I ain't gonna try to break the hood to get it open, but it was a running driving car when it was parked. Another old school bus. That's an old power pole or tree service truck or whatever he's got sitting out here. Man. Old Sea Ray boat. That'd be a good old boat to try to fix up. That's what you said about the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Four-door Impala, it looks like. Probably 66, 67 model. Something like that. Just guessing off the top of my head. but There he's got an old 50 model Buick 8. I'm sure. I have not opened the hood, but I, I'm guessing it's got the straight, the inline eight-cylinder engine in it. Sure does. Look at my Very bad. That'd be a another <laughs> mean old car to make a lead sled out of. A lead sled? Yep. Is that where you slide around on a hood? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they call them lead sleds because when back in the day when they done all the custom work and everything on them, they actually used lead as body filler to fill in. Oh. And then the, like whenever they'd chop the top, they'd use lead to put it all back together with and smooth it all up. Interesting fact of the day. It's, it's pretty much all there. Rough shape, but it's all there. I mean... The size of that radio. <laughs> well, I guess it's vents and stuff too, but golly. Don't have a tag on it. I don't know when the last time it was tagged. That's a neat old car. I'd kind of like to play with that myself. Y'all, if Wiley had time, energy, and resources, he'd be playing with cars all the time. I sure would. <laughs> Y'all would be seeing some funky stuff come out of his garage. <laughs> Another old fire truck. Uh, belonged to the OBU, Oklahoma Baptist University. I guess it was their on campus rig to change uh, lights and things in their parking lot. I want the cab off this truck really bad, but he said he's going to do something with it and might not have to. If he's going to crush it, I'm going to get the cab off of it. If not, he's. I don't get it, I guess. Oh, early 70s Charger. Another old Impala, I guess, or that might be a Biscayne. Oh, no, that's a Bel Air. I don't know, just guessing, but I'm figuring about a 65, 66, somewhere around in there. Pretty sure I've looked at this one before and it don't have no motor and transmission or anything in it, but still be a good old cool fixer upper, I guess.
Yeah, it's. I'm pretty sure it don't have nothing in there. No, it don't. Can't see it on the phone, but it it's gone. And all kinds of other junk. Another old truck I've been trying to deal him out of. I actually traded it. had a 20-foot box on the back of it. I actually traded for the box. So that's my, kind of my storage building. Uh, but this is an old Mercedes truck. And it actually runs and drives. Uh, I'm trying to deal him out of the whole truck, but I don't know if I'll ever get it done or not. Got Mercedes diesel in it. Just a pretty unique looking old truck. I guess they've got it locked or something. There we go. So guys, that old truck's even got the key in the door. I had to unlock it to get it to open. There's more old junk. And this is just the front yard, I guess. He's got tons and tons of stuff back there. That, uh, let's see if I can get my finger in there. Don't know what I'm doing. There we go. That old box truck right there, he's got like three or four of them. That was completely full of the little rubber worms and stuff that you fish with. Um, got an old bus back there, an old 60 something model bus that drew over at Dutch, Dutch Creek Cabin, supposed to be coming to pick up. Uh, got no Volkswagen bug sitting back there. All kinds of stuff. But. This is, this is another one I'm looking at today, is uh, it's an old Suzu cab over truck, supposedly was running and driving, and somebody took the turbo off of it. So I am actually interested in trying to deal him out of this thing. We'll see what happens, I guess. Not a bad looking old truck. Got the Suzu diesel in it. Uh, we'll see. I guess the story goes is these people was using this for a grow house box that was on the back of it they was using it for a grow house and got busted and uh, went to prison so this stuff was all sold off the property there's the missing turbo or where it's supposed to be anyway This might be a little better shot of the backyard. There's a better shot back there. Drew over at Dutch Creek Cabin is supposed to be coming to get that old school bus. I think he's wanting to fix it up to make him a traveling bus out of it. There's another one of them old bread vans that was full of fishing worms. Had a couple old regular vans back there that was full of worms. There's that little bug. He's just he's got stuff all all throughout them trees back there, just scattered everywhere. So he did have a salvage yard out here, and uh, whenever they diagnosed him with cancer, they uh, 
he had to close his salvage yard down. I'm getting the rear end out of this truck to fix my pickup with. Uh, but anyway, the, he had to shut his salvage yard down. And uh, now my uncle just brings this stuff in here and piles it up and uh, waits till he gets enough and then he calls a crusher in and sells it all to the crusher. No backhoe he's wanting me to work on for him and try to get it fixed and running. Sounds like somebody fired the school bus up while we was going back there messing around. Another old school bus he's got over there, it needs a motor. Uh, me and Jennifer actually was buying that and uh, just ain't got time to deal with it. So I don't know if we're gonna buy it or not.
also for hit the, forgot to hit the record button on the exit. So here we go again. Please, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. If you ain't already, give me a subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. This is going to be probably a, I don't even know, probably four or five part series. Uh, got all that done today. Actually, yesterday, but yeah. Uh, got all that done, and next time we go over there, we're going to be pulling the 76 out of the weeds, getting it down there, getting the motor and tranny pulled out of it. And then starting to make all this new stuff fit in it. Uh, so keep your eye open for some upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all on the next one.